for you guys on the left hand side of the bus, I've got a leaf here, it comes off the trees if you want to take that as a memento, as your close call. There, got a leaf. Green. I've got a bit of nothing. Okay. So, welcome aboard, all you guys who just arrived on the bus. My name is Keith and I'm your guide. wedding photographs in. Um, last week there was a wedding and the bride and groom was standing up and said a photograph taken and somebody from the bus shouted don't do it and the groom shouted too late I've done it for the uh, birthday of his wedding. They have uh, the red carpet and they have their own photographs. Come up the cinema and we'll be back in First two were destroyed by fire. This from the latest one had a fire in it, uh, but they managed to save it. In the theater there, the red was called the Scottish uh, Opera. The stock is just a decent food, the Royal Conservatory of Scotland. And some of the famous people have come from here. Colin Firth, he starred in the, the lead actor in the King's Speech. And his latest movie is Operation Minsky. And there's a lot of famous people who have come from here. Colin Firth, he starred in the King's Speech. And his latest movie is Operation we also had uh, Bobby Coltrane, who is hiding from Harry Potter movies, he graduated from here. Nicola Benedetti, she is a good position and she has been made fun of the uh, uh, Centre is on the left on the top of the street. Smoke out, and then you can see the stage. 
Also been a whole new meaning of coming to the pavilion to see the stars and the great stars on stage and the stars through the room. The theatre opposite, it's a movie theatre cinema called Cineworld and it's the tallest cinema in Europe. We have 17 movie theatres in there. All stuff is served by elevators, escalators and lifts. So you don't have to walk anywhere. That is until something breaks down and then you're back on to Shanks' Pony. And Shanks' Pony is at your place. We call Shanks' Pony. There's a walkabout, you can see the walkabout bar. That is an Australian themed sports bar. So if you wanted to see any kind of sports, it was only the big screens. You can take a wander in there. They have some lovely big relaxing couches and chairs. You can have a nice evening in the water. Heading up to stop 21. 21 is the first so the uh, concert hall is built on top of the underground system. So the underground system is not a deep underground system, it's a shallow one, unlike London. As I say, we have the third oldest underground system in the world. London is the oldest, the river is the second, and we have the third. The our underground system is built on a loop system, we have an inner circle and an outer circle. And a lot of the platforms are built on an island, so we only have to pay half the train. It's not a half the season. So, so the, the, uh, the concert hall, yeah. they managed to find a solution and keep the spines on, the foundations on, which would reduce the vibration and the noise from the underground system. They have computer controlled platforms on the ceiling. So no matter if it's a solo artist or if it's a large full scale orchestra, these computer platforms are moved by computers so they produce the best sound which we can possibly have available. This is Stop 21. We want to have the mechanical station that comes up for the shopping at John Lewis. Stop 21 is the shop in the Stop 21. Street bus station just on the left of Gilly. Above it, you can see through the trees, you'll see our third and youngest university, and that is Glasgow Caledonian University. In the city, we probably have between 60 and 80,000 students between all the universities and colleges. The bus station will let you get a bus to any part of the United Kingdom. You can get a bus to anywhere in the United Kingdom for 15 minutes. And if you want to go to the Isle of Skye, the Isle of Skye will take you in a bus 7 to 7. Now if you're 60 years of age or over and you live in Scotland, then you can receive a concession pass. Now a concession pass is a bus pass and you can get on the buses, any bus, anywhere in Scotland and you'll travel for free. A lot of other places in the UK, this area specific, so for example, if you stayed in Tunbridge Wells, that may well be free in terms of Tunbridge Wells. But in Scotland, you can go anywhere. So I can jump on a bus and head up to uh, Greek the Isle of Skye and it will cost me zero. It will cost me a penny to go up there. So it has its advantages. And uh, some of my, well, my son and my daughter and my grandkids, they'll say it's great because you old guys get everything for free. And they say that's because us old guys are paid through our working life to get this for free. And when you become an old guy, you'll get your son for free. Maybe. We'll see. As we head back to our stop number one, if you look to the right, you'll see at the end of the car park some metal work that is made from a recycled aluminium can. Uh, directly in front, we have uh, Sir Walter Scott on top of that uh, pillar. And he is the author of Lady of the Lake, Ivanhoe, amongst others. And he is from the east of Scotland, so he's from Glasgow. But because George the Front lost the Americans, he lost Glasgow's fortune to back the trade. He doesn't have a statue of a mention anywhere in Glasgow. He's not very popular. So the statue directly in front with the seagull on, it's the same seagull from the last time. 
So the seagulls are always they kind of land on top of very important people. So he's obviously important. So I'll just get back to the stop of number one. And it's Gladstone. I told you I knew the name of it. William Gladstone was a Prime Minister. Uh, I just had a senior moment. Oh, senior moment.